Welcome back to Chippo Outdoors. Today, another special treat. Besides being just at the range. Just at the range is awesome. Y'all keep practicing. Uh, it's really, this is a sort of a product review. Very interesting product. Uh, if you're going to be shooting 22s, you got a 10 round mag. So that's a lot of doing this doing this and doing this and you got to get the angle just right or you're going to have difficulties i fixed that no more no more no more what we have here is a wonderful device right here let me get my camera situated so this device is rather awesome in the fact that this is a speed loader. Speed loader here. And this is from Bear Arms. And um, so this case will fit in here. And um, well, where, where was this made? This is 3D printed. And look, folks, let me tell you. If you buy... A 3d printer from bare arms you have the software on here how to make this so bare arms y'all check them out um, good folks good folks really good folks okay so how does this work okay if you see it here at the flat spot here flat spot and there's a ridge right here and if you notice that your shell goes right in there. So the process, well, Chippo, how are you gonna scoop them up with this with this right here? This is how. See this is another. All this is 3D printed, including this. So watch this. This is pretty fascinating. So you put it on there. And look, one, two, three, four, five. Five and five is ten, so here we go. And ten that equals one magazine. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna get this sort of close to the edge of the table because you're gonna probably need that. First you insert the magazine, and you're gonna insert it the same way that would go. Now you see the spring. And this is notched out here. So you insert your magazine. It goes in there. You're going to go right here. Five. And five more. Five and five is what, math fans? Ten? Nope. It's a full magazine. And then you tap it down here. Tap, 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 tap. And make sure it goes all the way down now if you I don't know if you caught it right in here but I could still see uh, part of the brass and the lead head so you tap 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 and pull it out and voila well that's nine and there's one there so this is actually my first time trying this so let's let's do it again now um, this will hold a bunch of shells and so we're going to go, well, actually, no. See, I'm learning just like you guys. We're going to put our magazine in. And put it in. And you go five. And five. Five plus five equals a full magazine. You gotta tap it sort of at an angle. I'm learning the little idiosyncrasies of this. Um, so, not gonna get it right every time, but majority of the time. So, I had nine here. So, that's pretty awesome. Um, let me empty these mags and we'll get uh, right back with you. Normally, you're gonna have to pull down and press it down now where a lot of people will get mi 
have misfires because it's not loading right. If you pull the spring all the way down and start trying to start stack 10 in, you're going to have trouble with it feeding. So, and that'll cause the shell to come out wild and wicked. But again, Okay, folks, wonderful folks at Bear Arms, and they sell these 3D printers. Whoops, I dropped my shells. They went all over the place. No, they didn't. Look, Chippo, they're right here. So here and here, shake them, shake them. They ain't coming out. So you'll push it out, feed it out, take this device, put underneath it. There you go. Look, there. every other one is raised, and you can still do the lower ones after you finish that. So first step. Sometimes we forget is to put your magazine in. You know you're going to feed here, so your projectile comes out this side. Your projectile is coming out this side the way it loads. Sorry for being oversimplified. And again, this keeper pushes the spring down. Five. Oops, I don't want to load those. So look. How easy was that? See that? Okay. Just showing you that you can put them back like that if need be. But hey, if you're loading mags, you might as well have fun. And again, they'll come down. And you're going to tap, 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 tap. See them starting to load. Tap, 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 tap. Give it another little one. And I found that the first time I started doing it, I had one left over, but... Hey, nothing left over. Now one more time. Okay. Projectile out this way. Projectile this way. Watch the spring. Depress. There. We're going to load five more. Let's do these down here. One, five, and five equals a full mag. So, oops, we have one to deal with, but you know what, one is so much better than ten, so we're going to put one more in here and we'll have it, but like I said, this, this is my first day playing with this, so um, I think it's pretty awesome, and uh, the world of 3D printing is amazing. Or will be um, but like I said bare arms comes with this software and it has other software in it as well uh, plastic is is pretty cheap for I think it comes in a spool and you can choose different colors like orange or green or red or blue so thank you again I appreciate y'all uh, viewing subscribing like and sharing comments Thank you. Not a Navy SEAL, but having fun today, yes.